Hi, this is Johnny. And this is Rob. And this is The Rob and Johnny Show. We're here today to talk to you about ectotherms, or cold-blooded animals. Which differ a little bit from endotherms, which are warm-blooded animals. But we're really fired up still from the Olympics this year, so we're gonna put all these ectotherms and endotherms up against each other as we walk around the zoo and show you our different animals. Metal ceremonies! Woo! Whoa! That way! Black-throated monitor versus the rhinoceros. So this is Ollie. He's a black-throated monitor lizard from southern Africa. And we're gonna pit his metabolism up against a big rhino. So rhinos, being endotherms, they have to eat a lot to create enough energy to keep themselves warm since they're generating their own heat. Ollie here can go a long time without eating a meal because he doesn't need to generate his own heat. He simply goes in the sun as compared to the rhinos who need to run around, or a goat, <laughs> who need to run around and, and create all that energy, all that heat from that energy that they consume in their diets. Otter versus river turtles. Johnny, this otter be good. So Rob and I are over here in front of the North American River Otter exhibit. In here we have Ozzy and Saba, who are two of our endotherms here at the zoo. They are warm-blooded, and they have a very thick coat to keep all that heat in that they generate. If they have 156,000 hairs in a square inch, so that's pretty dense. Not quite as dense as this, but it's pretty dense. These guys, they also swim really quick. As you can see them behind us, they're really agile in the water. They can swim about 13 miles an hour. That's pretty fast, but you know what's cooler than swimming fast? And don't tell Michael Phelps I said this. I won't tell him, but what? Skydiving. Turtles can skydive. So the turtles weren't cooperating today. We decided to demonstrate it for you. When river turtles want to warm up, they come out of the water and they'll spread their legs out. And they actually will flatten out their hands and legs to create as much surface area as possible for the sun to hit on and warm them up. It's so warm! And I'm skydiving. Now Tate has offered to be on the turtle swim team to compete with the otters, but unfortunately all he's really good at is cannonballs. They tried to give me honeydew and I was like, how about honey don't? Looks like these turtles are gonna beat out these otters by a hair. Get it? I get it. Get it? That's funny, Johnny. White-tailed deer versus American alligator. You do not want to miss this. We have Oakley and Clementine in this exhibit. Clementine has really, really big ears. Deer use those ears to cool off so they don't overheat. Their warm blood flows through their ears. They have a pretty thin skin there, and that lets the heat leave their blood from those veins. Now, crocodiles and alligators and other ectotherms, being cold-blooded, have to find other ways to cool off. We're here with Scoot and Spike, two of our juvenile American alligators. These guys, being ectotherms, have developed a really cool way to cool off and warm up. The scoots along the back right here, they'll put those scoots in the sun or in the shade, and blood flows through those scoots and warms their entire body or cools their entire body, depending on what they need to do. If they need to move into the shade to cool down, they'll move on over there and open their mouth, let the heat out their mouth, and uh, their blood will get cooled along their back. Up next, birds versus a tall butterfly. We're here in the aviary, where a lot of people think it's so cool to be a warm-blooded bird flying around with your wings. <laughs> you want to know what's cooler than being a warm-blooded animal flying around? Tell them, Johnny. Being a cold-blooded animal flying around eating Gatorade and Coon Tea. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Gatorade? Yeah. And Coon Tea. This is a plant that the Atala butterfly survives on. They lay their eggs on it, they eat it. It's a very important plant for this species. As this plant is declining, so is the Atala butterfly. So we like to keep our Kuntis and Atalas very abundant. Look at him flutter around. Wow, it looks like the cold bloods really blew away the warm bloods, huh Johnny? They sure did, Rob. Ectotherms take the gold. Endotherms finish strong with the silver.